All right, Oz here at Cascade Barrel Brewing House, and I'm having what they're calling a Chronology 12, which is a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout, and it is delicious. Here, I'm going to answer a question. Somebody asked, how can I keep duplicate records? All right, here we have this list. And we've got some people in here multiple times, and the objective is to keep the multiples, all records of them. All right? So we don't want to keep Adrienne. We want to keep Cynthia, both records, Mauricio, Stephen. All right. We know what we need to do. One thing is, in getting transformed, is easy to get rid of duplicates. But what happens when we want to keep them? All right, here we go. Data. From table slash range, the table does have headers. All right. Now we've got our raw data. And here is what I'm going to do. Reference this query. Go back here. I'm going to call this raw. All right. With this query, we're going to do a grouping to get a count so that we can then get rid of the ones that only have one. All right. Group by. We want to group by name and we want to do a count, a count of the rows. Okay. Now we can get rid of anything that says one. All right. And let's give this a meaningful name. multiples let's call it that does that work all right now next thing now we can do a join let's go to merge queries merge queries as new so that we merge and create a separate query as opposed to building on the one we're already in all right so now i want to put my raw on top the multiples on the bottom Leave this as a left outer join. All right. What do we want to match up? We want to match up the names. Ha. Okay. There we go. Let's expand. All right. Now, let's filter out anything that's null. There we go. This is what we wanted. But let's get rid of this extra column. We don't need it. Remove it. All right, let's close and load it to the workbook. Load to. All right, here we go. I'm going to move this table over next to our source data. Cut. And paste it. There we go. This is what we wanted. Now, what happens if we get another entry for Karen? Let's see. Refresh. Now we have both entries for Karen. Let's sort. So there you go. That is how you keep your duplicates, not just a count, no one at the duplicates but also the individual records all right y'all keep your data clean and i'll see you in the next video